I want to put something like your owl on my Christmas tree. And this is the size that I want to keep the tree at. But the owl looks too big. So I need to do something in Blender. I need to add a piece of geometry front and back to fake the bounding box so that Second Life thinks it's bigger and it can shrink it down smaller. And that's called making a nano mesh. So let's see what we can do in Blender. Right, so I've turned on the bounding box. I've done that in Object Properties and ticked here Bounds. And you can see it quite clearly. It just tightly fits the owl. So what we need to do is make it more like a cube so that uh, Second Life can shrink it down further. I'll untick that for a minute. This owl looks as though he's in the centre, but when you turn him to the side, He's a bit far away from the, the centre here. So we're going to move him back. So if you look at item, we're going to type 0 on each axis. 0, 0, 0. But now he's in the middle. Now we're going to need to fake this bounding box so that Second Life thinks it's bigger so it can shrink smaller. So let's add some more geometry. So we're going to go add mesh plane type RX90 GZ scale it a little so it's more enclosed. Right. G wire, about there. And we're going to duplicate the, the plane. So Shift D, G Y. Now we're going to select that plane, that plane, Shift Select, that plane, Shift Select the L. And control J. So now they're all joined. Now we need to shrink these down to zero in edit mode so that you don't see them at all in Second Life. So select just this one. So if we do it in face view, it's easier. And S0. And then this one, S0. And now when we look at the bounding box, it's much deeper. So let's export that. Shrink him down, and down, and down, and down, very tiny. Let's see how small he can go. Too small. 